Yo. Word up. Okay, we got we got plenty of juice here. <laughs> plenty of juice uh, on the phone and uh, in the body. So we'll see where we go with this. Let's see where this takes us. I'm actually uh, in a mode right now where. I feel, I feel good, I feel good in sharing, whereas, uh, the past several days has been, uh, fucking wonky. Very bizarre. To see people's, um, actions and reactions to their inner and outer circumstances and also uh, their responses to being around me uh, it's, a, it's always a, a very interesting thing to witness uh, being around different people constantly because I'm, I'm constantly around all sorts of types of different kind of people so it's very interesting to see in their eyes What is there? Uh, so yeah. Have you guys noticed? It's starting to get sunny out. Oh my gosh. It's uh, here at least. It's um, very much. Oh hey. Is it spring? Oh no no no. Winter hasn't let go yet, so we're going to still dip back down into, you know, freezing levels. And then, oh my gosh, all of a sudden, the very next day, hey, we're in fucking summer temperatures. So, uh, I, I, I enjoy the, the light whenever it happens, but... Just witnessing what I witness and seeing the patterns and trends that have been uh, occurring for a while now and that and the increasing levels of instability within uh, all aspects of our reality, but especially the weather because you know. Who nowadays really pays attention to the weather uh, beyond, oh, this is what my weather app said. Not that I, I don't do apps or anything, shit like that. Like, I don't do any of that fucking kind of shit. I don't do social media. <clears throat> so, uh... Yeah, paying attention for yourself to the how the weather has been, how the weather has been going towards uh, more and more chaotic and intense. If you haven't noticed the intensities, and also if you haven't noticed the purposeful intent upon media disguising or distracting I mean obviously this has been agenda day one but if you haven't noticed that this is amped up to the extreme and the vast majority have not noticed it so this is why it's very depressing uh, being around people and they want to talk to you about what they've heard like okay, well, what have you experienced for yourself? Can you can you talk to me about this? Oh yeah, okay. Well, what I've experienced is I've heard this and I've heard n no. What have you witnessed for yourself and decided for yourself? 
oh, well, this said this and that said that. No. Can you look? Can you just stop? Get away from your fucking phone and your connectedness to the fucking interwebs and the goddamn what you have been taught and told to believe. And just look up. Look around you. Look fucking around you. But no, that, that's that's too hard for people to do because then it becomes very depressing once you start realizing what's going on around you. You quickly realize where uh, quickly spiraling towards fucking desecration and our own annihilation because of our own doing in, in agreement with with the fucking bullshit that we've been led into. And that's literally the only reason why all of us as a collective are in the situation right now that we are in is because we, the majority of the people have went along with the script. And once again, don't take my word for anything. Do your own fucking research. Realize shit for yourself. Realize the power that you have. Realize the power that every individual has. And realize the power that a controlled, collective, imaginative script has upon reality. That's where we're at right now. There's many battles going on. There's many layers of this battle. There's many levels that you can engage with. There's many webs upon webs upon webs. And layers upon layers. Stacks on stacks on racks of this shit. So like I've said in previous videos, if you want to prepare for what you may think, what you think may come to be, what com may come to pass. Realize where this preparedness starts. And uh, regardless of if you're into uh, prepping preparing for catastrophes or, or what the fuck ever it's all going to come back down to the same thing which is understanding what you are truly what you really need to survive or live or thrive even realizing the lies that you have been fed and choosing to let go of trying to convince people of this or that but diving deep into the thought sphere and reality bubble of realization what you truly are. So yeah, this thing here is on, uh, I don't know, what does it say? EMP attack? That's something that's been uh, thrown out here for a while, right? Different ways to fucking uh, prep for that and prepare for that and protect certain devices and bury it underground and all this shit. And to be honest, and I know how this may come off and this is uh, some of my previous video that I decided not to release because I, I just went too far into the depths and, and into the uh, destroyer mode, basically. And I don't want to put that out there for anyone, even though a lot of the stuff that I decide to put out is just me. 
finally getting shit out. The EMP... Well, what we're going to experience is, is a multi-layered of uh, quote-unquote attacks. Think about like uh, 9-11 times 100. 9-11 to the nth degree, you could say, because they're going to have, uh, they already do, have everything set up and, and ready to go. But uh, what has thrown them off is... How to put this? A certain spark that has decided to change the script, and knowing how to do this in a way that it attracts the attention of certain individuals and certain energies and forces and, and influences to try to understand why that spark went that route but in so doing they left themselves vulnerable to the to the occurrences that happen whenever they are focused on a singular point I know that probably isn't going to make much sense it will in time the more I admit. <clears throat> this Armageddon that we are approaching, the continued catastrophes and the intensities of these things. The agenda was to separate us, cause mass confusion, mass chaos, and call uh, the remaining call, not call, 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 cool, the remaining uh, survivors, I guess you could say, into a more strict obedience system. And then, at the same time, uh, certain forces would come in and uh, set up new systems for us to go by that we call society and reality. And oh, our 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 sciences are are so evolved, and 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 these uh, these energies and essences coming into our realm are going to show us us miraculous things. But they're miracles to the uh, retarded, dumbed-down masses. I know that sounds really harsh, but if you haven't been able to take a hard look around you, and even if you're living a life that is in abundance and, and in uh, a lot of joy, and you're you're really able to like just enjoy the the beauty of life. There is still a lot of uh, shit going on that you're not really become being aware to or allowing yourself to be aware to. Be aware of. So, uh, if you if you decide to take the time to just go out in certain energies and, and awarenesses and realms and societies and, and witness what's going on, you'll quickly come to the realization that, oh, fuck, this, this is not just peaches and cream. Like, even if I can choose to utilize certain energies, certain monetary gains that I have acquired, and so I can live a certain lifestyle, that doesn't mean that Everything is going to be all Gucci, right? The more you explore, the more you expand your awareness and your horizons, 
the more pain you will come into contact with. And this is this is what it means to be a shaman. This is what it means to be an alchemist, a transmutationalist, if that's even a word. Expanding yourself to all of the expanse of what is there. accepting it for what it is choosing to understand why it got how it is now choosing to go within instead of continuously engaging this is very very fucking important 15 foot 1555 I'm going to timestamp that this is what's most important. Choosing to go within instead of being caught up in the distractions and entertainments in the glitter and the glam that is presented to us without, without as in our exterior. Will we, will we, think as or, or deem or conceptualize as our exterior reality choosing to go into the hermit mode where you forget about that shit you dive deep within you to where you go so far inside that you pop out outside to where you are able to experience more of what's really going on outside of yourself you dissolve the boundaries and the barriers that you've been taught to believe in you realize that it is all you and you re you recreate you reconnect with all of these connections that is life that is you and in so doing, it's going to be very, very painful. It's going to be liberating, yes. It's going to be very depressing. But then it's always up to you what you choose to engage in. Do you choose to stay stuck in one mode or the other? Because... Well, first of all, there's no right or wrong, but if you choose to go all love and light, you're choosing to ignore the other aspects that are very prevalent in, in most people's worlds, which is despair, desperation, misery, pain. And, on the flip side, if you choose to stay stuck in those realms, then you're not going to be able to access the realms of beauty and love and life, with which is why we're, we are here. To live this and experience this and expand upon this. To understand, understand why we are here. What is your purpose and pure position right now, right here, right now. What is it? What are you doing right here and right now? Oh okay, wait, let's play some of this and see what he has to say. It's the kind of thing that like, it, you know, it's kind of like important that you at least walk through it in your head. So I want to be able to have this conversation without the drama. Uh, because right? there's this, you know, it's like, there's this, it's like, oh, I don't want to do that because that's, you know, fear-based. That's like, you know, fear porn. And it, that's up to the observer. Mm. You know, it's like, you could still have the conversation without the fear. And I think that that's a good place to be because then you, you can prepare just because I'm prepared for an earthquake doesn't mean I'm walking around like this because there's possible of an earthquake. 
It's like, oh, I live in California, there's a possibility of an earthquake. So you just leave some shoes by the door. Exactly. And that's if you want to prepare, that's that's how you, I'm going to say, like, quote unquote, should prepare, as in uh, the most beneficial way, what I would recommend is to prepare, is in preparing your mind. Preparing in a way where you're not in a fear state. You're not, you're not in a fear mode. You do it, and if something comes to pass or not, you're ready for it. And this can be taken out on like many different levels and it's going to be like this for people who are really caught up in the system and they feel they need to prep like it's going to be to the extreme a lot of the time with people to where they just they go all out and fucking go crazy with it but then they realize like oh hey like years later nothing happens so like what do you fucking do like you you get smarter instead of getting harder you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about quality over quantity. That's what I'm saying here. And this absolutely has everything to do with your inner worth and your inner your inner commitment that you have with yourself. Like no matter what form that takes, I, I definitely recommend that everyone develops most most people in the modern day world now that we live in i recommend that you take the time to meditate to just be with yourself in silence for some um, some amount of period of time every day and of course you know eventually you're going to get to the point where you know that that becomes accessible to you in every moment and of course that's why we do the these things like practice certain modalities and methods of breath work, of pranayama, of yoga, of all the different uh, aspects of yoga. We do these things so that we retrain our minds to engage in a certain way. This is the true essence of fasting. You change your fucking mind. And yes, because of fasting, oftentimes it starts with the body. You change your body. You change how your body feels. You change the fuel source of what your body is used to operating on. And that changes your fucking mind. And then, oh shit, your mind opens up to other things. Experience this for yourself. Don't take my word for shit. Experience it for yourself. See what happens to you whenever you fast. Maybe for a short term period of time. Maybe a hardcore fast. Where you just do distilled water. For, for a while. Even just for a day. Or three. Or five. Or however long you can do. See what happens to your inner state. If you think you're strong enough to engage this and, and try this for yourself, do it. This as an experiment. Just try it. See what happens to yourself, to your inner state. To the things that you open up to. Because of the clearing you've done within. As within so without. You clear away. The garbage. And the gunk within. You allow more truth. To be filtered in. To be absorbed inside of you. From without. From. Your, your outer perception. Becomes more likened in more acute to the inner work you've done. 
This is the true beauty of fasting. How your mind shifts and becomes more attuned to what you are experiencing within. It's just, you have to experience it. There's not, you can't tell, you can, you can tell people anything and everything until you're fucking blue in the face. But it's not going to mean shit to them until they start to experience it for themselves. The truth is in the pudding, and the pudding is the fucking experience. You are the pudding. Experience for yourself what is real, what is illusion, what is transitory, what you have been taught is, is, what, what you have been taught words are, what, what reality is, what things mean, dissolve these things, create your own fucking language from your felt experience, yeah that may seem crazy and out of this world, but not to those that have experience this for themselves on some levels and we all have on certain levels but most people have forgotten what it is like to have a child's mind to have a childlike mindset to where every experience is a new experience and you're not caught into a, any kind of a web or loop program Experience life as in a fresh, supple state. Take note. Don't get caught up whenever you go into modes. And we all go into modes at times. Where we're caught up in pain. And perfect storm scenarios, as in we let things in and under our skin that n normally wouldn't, and then that that pains us and hurts us deeply because of the circumstance, and so we are caught within that pain cycle for a while, but in time, you may find. That sometimes these things are needed so that we can finally scrape out the bottom of the barrel of where the gunk is in our cups so that we can truly empty our cups. And that's going to be a painful process to truly empty your cup. But when you do that, every single time you will be absolutely amazed at what comes in to this emptied cup experience this for yourself but I guarantee you will be absolutely awestruck at the beauty and the heartfelt connections your perceptions will change and you'll see your pure position and your purpose You'll come to realize and understand and remember and recollect all of you, all of us. You'll feel it and you'll heal it. And you'll begin to take those steps. Towards actualizing this in your day-to-day -day experience realizing that the foundations have to be pure and heartfelt in order for anything any kind of a f plant to really grow its roots and to fruit anything of lasting
lasting purity or essence. Realize. <laughs> oh, realize what is inside of you. It's not always going to be easy to do. But I know me and I know you and I know you can do it. You are stronger than what you know. So keep watering your inner gardens. And allow the truth to continue to grow. I'm always with you. We are one, like it or not. We are one. Peace.